Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to the show. We are live on Let's Get Real. It's the show where we talk about real things, real stories of faith and testimonies. But first, you already know what's up. It's season three, but it's still the same with this. That's right. Now, today we got a very special guest with us. Uh, he is he's a friend of mine, and we have a very, I would say, a very unique relationship. And I tell you the reason why is because we've played futsal together, we've played badminton together, uh, and we sort of we've never actually really worked together, but we've played a lot of sports together. I think that's pretty much how we bonded, and uh, it was such a. I won't say a shock, but it was a very pleasant surprise when I found out that, hey, he is also a brother in Christ. Uh, you may know him from all the videos that he do. Uh, he does on YouTube when he posts on Instagram. Yes, they all are very, very funny. But today we want to hear a little bit more of a, not mellow, but a little bit more uh, of the other side of him. For the first time on the show, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the set of Let's Get Real. We've got Mr. Dennis Lim. Hello. Hi, Mr. Brandon. Woo! Hello, everybody. <laughs> I am Dennis, and thanks for having me today. You're welcome, welcome. First of all, Dennis, <laughs> I just want to say thank you so much for being here. Thank you for saying yes. Uh, he was very, you were very on. What, what I mean by that is that when I invited you, a lot of people will ask us, uh, what's the show about? You know, what are the questions? Mm. Da, 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 da. I think I barely spoke to you for about 10 minutes when I asked, asked which, are you okay to come out? And you straight away said, yes. Yes, I just said yes. Because it's from Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, anything from a football, football friend. Yeah, my man, my man. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. So okay. when you said yes, I was very encouraged because you're super duper on and you know the context of the show. You know we're not here to like choice or you or anything like that. We're here to talk about your story, you know, and more often than not, a lot of people have this fear of sharing maybe a very raw part of their life, a very honest, open part of their lives to put it out there to the public. But you were very honest and for that, I really, uh, I really thank you and I really appreciate that. So um, we're going to go straight into it. Now, obviously, the first time when I met you, I actually didn't know that you were a Christian. Oh, it was uh, much How later. did you find out? I think we were having a conversation. I think I you mentioned something about going to church or coming back from church, something like that. And I was like, wait, Ooh. I think that was the first time and I was like, wow, you know, that you were a Christian. Mm. And uh, I think subsequently as well, when I met your girlfriend, uh, and she's also a Christian, and you both have been attending church very regularly together. Yes. Yeah. Mm. So how is that coming along for you first? Okay, first of all, I do have the fear of sharing. Understand. And uh, like, this is my very first podcast. Really? Yes, the very, very first podcast. But you've been in this industry for very many years and this is really your first time being on a podcast? I think I've been on radio station, right. but never a podcast before. Wow. So, and like, it's so stressful. <laughs> Some of this is for like a Christian thing. Yeah. Oh, so stress. No, no, no stress, <sighs> la, but uh, God is looking at you, uh, bro. Okay. No stress. Oh, okay, <laughs> sure. God is looking right down at you, Okay, man. Uh, what were you asking? Uh, okay, so <laughs> the questions are very, very, very casual. So I just yeah, want you to okay. take it easy. But I want to, now people know you for all the videos that you post online and you know, all the videos that you, obviously it's very, very funny videos. Mm. you tend to also make a fool out of yourself just to make people laugh. You don't yeah. mind doing self-deprecating jokes and everything like that. Uh, I want to know, the. we want to know the other side of Dennis today, which is the part where, hey, how did you come to know Christ? When did you first hear the name Jesus? But we want to kind of rewind back a little bit mm. before you became all internet famous, before you became big on Instagram and things like that. So let's go back in time a little bit and let's talk about your family background. I want to know what was it like uh, growing up for not Dennis Lim, the Instagrammer, YouTuber, the, the Wang Hong guy, but what was yes. it like growing up for Dennis Lim? That's it. Okay. Uh, I grew up in a Christian family. Mm. So from since uh, I was a kid, I I went to Sunday school. Yeah. Yeah, the very basic, basic one. So from there, I learned about Jesus and God and everything. La. So uh, I just follow my parents and... Um, so, so you were uh, <laughs> considered a second generation Christian lah, because your parents were already Christians, man, yeah. right? And um, my parents are also uh, quite uh, how to say uh, they go to church every Sunday lah, mm, mm, mm. mm. and uh, and I also follow. They make sure I go to Sunday school, and they were quite strict also, like uh, like uh, how to say uh, the law by law lah, uh, like Christians. Uh, they uh, always what, follow the uh, Bible. Yeah, what yeah, Christian follow. does, and like I cannot like even say the word shit. Wow, yeah, serious? they say like shit 
it's a vulgar word. So oh. I, oh, 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 I cannot say shit. So I, <laughs> since I was a kid, I, I've been very, uh, I was a good boy. Yeah. Yeah, for a long time. Uh, for until I go to college or something, then only I open my eyes. No. <laughs> <laughs> then only you became a wild kid and a wild <laughs> child, is it? <laughs> right. So you were a second generation Christian mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and you attended church pretty much all your life. So when you attended Sunday school, you knew about Jesus quite young mm. in your in your early days. Yeah. And you probably know all the biblical st- all the Bible stories la, about yep. Moses leading the Israelites out of mm. Egypt. Noah and uh, Moses, uh, Joseph, Jonah, everyone. Israel, yeah. <laughs> so, what was your impression then, as a young kid going to church? Did you think it was just like, okay, lah, my parents go, then I just follow law because they ask me go, then I go, mm. or did you actually feel like, hey, this is something that I could benefit from it, and mm. you know, you feel like there was a difference, or was it just like just go only? I think I uh, gained the ability to really comprehend all this uh, maybe during high school. Mm. Um. From um, by comparing the other religions uh, with Christian Christianity, I I do feel like I felt Christianity got more connection. Uh. Mm. Uh, so I also learned to know that uh, we are uh, Christianity is not a religion. We mm. are having a relationship with God, yep. and I truly felt that uh, we are really having a relationship, mm. uh, Because like uh, when I like when. During I was a kid from grow, growing up in a church, uh, I always pray when I face troubles. Mm. Uh, so I do felt like God is watching over me, mm. and from time to time He answers my prayer. So, so I uh, maybe around high school, I I felt like I really have a connection with God, lah. Right now, <laughs> I like I like that you say high school because a lot of people they do go to second generation Christian and I can mm. relate with you because I myself also, like, my parents were also mm. Christian. I went to Sunday school, kids club, surf, everything like that. Mm. But it's only in, uh, for me it was 18 years old. That's when I really had an encounter with God and I knew for real that this, my parents' God is mm. also my God, you know, and someone uh, I can relate yeah. to and the real relationship. So what was your first encounter? Like, do you remember this moment? Is there a, a, a period in your life where it stood out? You mentioned a little bit about high school when you really, Mm-hmm. feel like hey okay this god i can feel a real connection with this god probably during some youth camp mm-hmm. uh-huh. what happened <laughs> <laughs> <You can. laughs> because uh in camps uh, we can uh like we learn more about god and uh got closer to god and can really felt like, mm. uh, but i forgot which camp you forgot which camp <laughs> but it was in a youth camp <laughs> Should be, but I cannot really uh, remember a, a like a clear yeah. encounter that makes me like I decided yes, this is uh, the God I want to mm. believe and uh, have faith and everything. Mm-hmm. I felt like it's like the whole process from it's like a I was a, yeah. Mm. So gradually, since I was a kid until teenager, and now I always like I. I trust that this is the God. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> now, did you ever come to a point in your life where you decided, okay, I want to make Jesus as my Lord and Savior? Mm, uh, Have you ever like said that sinner's prayer? Like, 12 okay. years old when I got baptized. So you got baptized at 12 years old? Yeah, quite young. Uh. I mean, might be too young to really fully comprehend the yeah. whole thing, but... Uh, yeah, that was when I made the decision. Mm-hmm. So you remember that time, lad? It was during 12 years old when you got baptized. I remember the time I went into the water only. La. Was it? <laughs> <laughs> you remember what happened, but you remember you went in the water for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes. La. That time we, we, we will say the prayer, but we, uh, we, are, we are born anew. Born again, yeah. yeah. We are born again after being baptized mm. something like now, I would, it's safe to say that I, would, I think you have been a Christian all your life, that means, mm. right? Yeah. So, but let's face it, like, we are both Christians. We know that being a Christian doesn't mean that like, you live in a, on, a, you know, on a bed of roses. There's always uh, there's great times being a Christian mm. where you feel, wow, you know, you're so connected with God. And there are also times when uh, you walk through, I guess, the desert road uh, where it's 
very it's very down lah, and you just yeah. don't feel any connection with God. And I want to delve in a little bit mm. whether you had this kind of experiences as well, where you felt like, wow, God, where are you? What kind of? I don't feel you. I don't know whether you're real. I don't know where you are, and I feel so alone. Is there mm. any such moments in your life at, in your Christian journey? Mm, I think all the while I knew uh, God is always there. Mm, mm. Uh, it's just that when I grew up, maybe around twenty something, I started to um, begin to Rebel. think a lot. I tend to always overthink. Uh, right. I always think a lot, like uh, a lot of questions, and always doubt, mm. being very doubtful, and um, a lot of times uh, I just. Like got lost lah, mm, mm. so I've been wandering around. But uh, even when I wander to like very far away, like mm. so lost, I still felt God is still with me. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so uh, I'm still able to come back, mm. come back to God lah. Mm, mm. I think. You think lah? Uh, <laughs> I'm sure God wouldn't. I mean, He says in His word lah. Uh, he, he will never okay. leave nor forsake us lah. Uh. So I don't yeah. believe that God has ever left you lah, uh, Dennis. I'm pretty sure that no matter how far you strayed, yeah, uh, He will still be able to call you back. But it's up to you whether you want yeah. to accept or not lah. Uh. Yeah, but there's a few times I really like wandered off. Tell me far, about those far times. Away. Yeah, I want to know about these <laughs> times because these are very common Christian things, you know, where where especially those who are second generation where we stray away and we sort of rebel. The uh, word yeah, is true. rebel, literally. We go off the rails here. Uh, and so you you yourself said that you've gone far, far away. Yeah. Right? So mm. what, uh how how did how did God bring bring you back? Was mm. it uh was it you know, you finally decided, okay, I'm done with this kind of wild life. You know, Lord, I want to come back to you. Was it like your the prodigal son? Like the prodigal <laughs> son, exactly. Um, or was it your girlfriend who said, like, you know, hey, I want to bring you back to church? Was it your mom? Was it your dad? Is there any such? How did you come back to God? Was it a personal decision? Um, I think I. Uh, girlfriend is also a thing because mm. I've been dating non-Christians mm. uh, from uh, there's a period la. Mm-hmm. so uh, after everything didn't work out uh, I have, like I, I was uh, quite down mm. for a moment and then I found this girlfriend mm. somehow she's a Christian I felt like she will be able to bring me back to uh, God la. Mm. and I think she really did help me a lot wow um so uh she helped also and from other experience let me think uh, let how me did think how did Vicky help you? <laughs> I need to I need to know this. Okay. How did Vicky actually help you? Uh she just n- I just needed someone to talk uh, because uh <laughs> if you date a non Christian you they don't understand uh what you go through or uh they don't know about your God mm. and if uh, a Christ like Vicky she can be able to uh, encourage me and uh, um, what um, 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 uh, I think she just needed to be there mm. <laughs> that she just was there for you yeah and she understand yeah like uh, most people won't understand. I'm not sure. Mm. <laughs> Is, do you think there's a big difference between now because you've dated non Christians, right? Mm-hmm. And then now you're dating a Christian girl. Mm. Do you, do you feel there's a big difference in the relationship? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Of course. Mm. She is able to, and we can, we are able to encourage each other uh, mm. during our uh, down times. Mm. And it's important to have s- someone that has the has the f- same faith as you. Uh. Who shares the same principles and the sh- mm. same values. So it's a lot of things are easier to talk about, uh, basically. Yeah, a lot of things you can agree on. Yep. Mm. Now that you are <laughs> together for, I think, what, three? Almost three years. Almost three years, right? Mm. Almost three years. Is marriage on the horizon? Uh, <laughs> I'm trying, trying my best. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, 
after seeing Brandon getting married, I, also felt <laughs> I need to be faster. Take it from me, man. I think being married is amazing, by the way. If you can get married, uh, quickly get married. I think two is better than one. Uh, so mm. just a little piece of advice, man. Go for it, I man. I think so too, because um, oftentimes I'm uh, always alone and mm. uh, I also work alone. Mm. I felt like it's so hard being alone. Mm. I really need someone to be there. Mm, mm. So, so I'll, I'll try. Mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's talk a little bit about now that you are, you've been, you've been in this entertainment industry for I think how many years now? When did you first start in uh, this industry? I first started, uh, I started my first video in 2007. 2007? Yeah, but then wow. uh, there was uh, just for, uh, just a hobby. Oh. I'll upload once in a once in a month or something. Mm. When I got the idea, I just do the video. Uh, I started really trying to build my channel uh, after uh, graduating from a degree mm. around 2012. Mm. Uh, oh, almost around 2012. Almost oh, then almost ten years already. Yeah, it's wow. It's mm. ten years already, Dennis. Yeah, it's, you've been in this for yeah. one decade. It's quite a long time. Yeah, I think I'm quite tired. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I feel you. <laughs> yes. I started quite young as well, so this is next year will be my tenth year actually. Oh wow! Yeah, I started in in 2013 for me. I see. So it's been many many years now. So yeah, okay. so I understand mm. what you mean when you I say. I mainly. Tired. Mm, focus on doing comedy skits. Uh. So uh, I believe that uh, a lot of people in this world really needed comment, uh, needed laughter. Mm. It, so I try to always make people laugh yeah. by doing all those nonsense videos. Mm. Uh, so when people uh, watch my videos and they laugh, I felt like I, um, I felt happy also. La. Wow. <laughs> now, is there anything in a... Sort of in a, I guess, a Christian context mm, where you yeah. felt like uh was a challenge to be who you are in this industry because it's not easy at uh, the industry that we're in. We 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 meet uh, yes a lot of people, we meet uh. all kinds of people, but at the same time, it's personally I find it it's sometimes really a big challenge to be a Christian in this industry because there's a certain expectation, uh, for what we do mm. and how we present ourselves. So did you have any of those difficulties? being in the entertainment industry and also at the same time being a Christian? Mm, um, I always try to uh, be a good testimony to yeah. my audience. And I think so far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have uh, what uh, scandal news coming mm. out from my side yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you mean you mean are we <laughs> expecting something? I so far not yet, lah. Huh? Anything could happen. <laughs> <laughs> but I try my best, lah. Uh. Right. Yes. To uh, some of my audience are mainly kids, mm -hmm. so I try my best to always uh, be a good example to the kids. Uh, even though my videos sometimes are very. Uh, Mm. nonsense but I try not to like go too far yeah uh. Uh, I'm very interested to ask this actually because your parents are Christians you know and you say they're very religious they really go to church mm. every single week they, they know the Bible inside out what did they think of what you're doing especially mm. when you first started uh, because I mean I don't know mm. Penang parents Asian parents right they probably expect you to be I don't know doctor engineer especially you they your degree, but you didn't do anything. Yeah. So what did they think? I'm very interested to know this. Yeah, so uh, this has nothing to do with Christianity. Uh. So they are just being Asian parents. Yeah, 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 yeah. Typical Asian parents. Uh, so they, of course, they are worried about me uh, sitting in front of my computer for two years, two or three years uh. doing nothing. Uh, they thought I'm doing nothing. <laughs> yeah. But actually, I'm doing something. <laughs> I keep making videos every, uh. maybe two videos per week. I try to two just videos spam week. videos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the time the the meta is to yeah. keep uploading, try to upload as, as much as possible to build the subscribers. Mm. Uh, so, uh, that time, uh, they are worried and Asked me to go find a part time job, but uh, it's really hard to focus if I go and uh, they asked me why not the videos you can do part time. Uh, you go find a main job first, get a sec secure job, a stab yeah, stable, stable income, income job. Kind of yes. thing. Yeah, I understand. Uh, 
um, at that time I just say, I cannot. Uh, <laughs> uh, some more, um, or uh, my, my, they did say what, um, because my videos are like nonsense, mm. uh, uh, comedy sketches. Yeah. So they thought that uh, I'm just uh, not taking it seriously. Mm, la. mm. Like not taking your life seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasting <laughs> your youth or something, wasting your life away. Yeah. Um, that time I got quite angry la, and I told them, I will prove it to you. <laughs> 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 so that's what happened. La. You After, managed to. Uh, I, I really did manage to prove it to them. <laughs> so what do they think now? Like now looking back, right? Because like, you say 10 years already actually. You didn't even realize yeah. like well, 10 years has passed by. Uh. And do you go back to Penang and, and what, what does your parents think about what you're doing now? Do they do you have their blessing or do you do you they, are uh, they still against? First of all, of course, I really thank God that I I was able to find find this uh, YouTube way to mm. be able to really earn money from YouTube yeah. when nobody was really earning maybe mm. a few, but nobody knows that YouTube can earn money. That mm. time I just started very early, so I got quite lucky or God really blessed me with that. La. Yeah. Uh, so, um, of course, uh, I started to make quite sta- some stable income and uh, I will use the income to like belanja back my parents. La, like mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> of course, now uh, after uh, after maybe one or two years, they also felt relief and they also understand mm-hmm. that my video... Uh, and my direction, what yeah. I wanted. So, in the end, uh, uh, all good lah. Somehow now, my dad also joined my video. So <laughs> <laughs> if that is not approval, I don't know what is lah, bro. If yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, that's the, the best, uh, best way of showing approval lah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, he actually stars in your videos nowadays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite regular. Wow. And some of my audience love him lah. <laughs> now, what about uh, being in this industry? Because... For me, when I came into this industry, I felt it was mm. a calling for me. So oh, when yeah. I first joined entertainment industry, yeah. uh, it was very clear for me uh, that God was going to put me in this industry. Mm. But eventually, I know that my purpose in this industry is really to share the light uh, for God. It's not for my own mm. fame mm. or my own my own this one. It's really for the sake of His kingdom. Mm. And that was for me. And that's why I feel like a lot of people, we have a lot of friends, right? Mm. And we have a lot of mutual friends. You know, and we know that some of these people, after a few years, they do it. And then they sort of just wither out and maybe they mm. lose the passion. And mm. you've kept this passion for 10 years now. And you're still going, you're still you're still pushing mm. and you're still uploading and stuff like that. Do you feel like, you know, uh, God has called you in this entertainment industry for a purpose or for a reason? Do you feel... Yeah, I did felt that way. Uh, I felt like uh, this is also a way to... Uh, to let more people know about God. Mm. And uh, for me, I always try to be a good testimony. I felt like uh, what I'm doing and what I'm portraying to the audience Mm. is a good way of telling them uh, how God is, um, uh, but how God is holding me through life or how how to say that. Mm. Um, And I felt like uh, uh, this, it's really a good way to um, let more people know about God. Mm. And I try to always try my best to sh- like, for example, I also started a series to help people, try to influence more people mm. to help others. Mm. And, but then, but then after some time, it's also very hard to, maintain uh. mm, mm, mm. yeah there's also struggles uh, a lot mm. and so uh, I'll try to always find new ways to oh, mm. Ma- uh, okay I say uh, I was able to maintain I was able I was able to maintain this uh, in the <laughs> mm. I was able to make videos for so long also because of my passion. Like I also like video editing. Mm. I like to act also. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And at the same time, I also felt like I have a very big responsibility. Mm. Like God gave me, for sure, I felt like God put me here. Yeah. 
because uh, in no way I I would be so uh, I was able to like have such a large audience or followers. Yeah, yeah. Using my own strength, lah. Mm. Felt like God for sure. God helped me to get here, and surely for a purpose also. Mm. Mm. Have you found this purpose? Do you know this purpose? Hmm. Besides being a guest on a Christian podcast, <laughs> uh, so far, uh, I never like I openly share about God lah in yeah. my videos also. Mm-hmm. So I try to not be very pushy or, or preachy yeah. or that kind yeah, of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I try to show it through my actions. Mm-hmm. Mm. To basically to, through people who meet you through your life, mm. and that is like how you try to. Portray mm. la, being a good ambassador for Christ. Yeah. Mm. Now, mm. Dennis, what is the biggest challenge of just being a Christian in this in this work that you're doing? Mm. Like one of the hardest things that you've you know you've gone through, you face, or even if you're facing today, you find that oh, this is such a struggle, Brandon. You know, it's not easy. Uh, to resist uh, accepting a job from uh, betting websites. <laughs> <laughs> Because they offer a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really a lot. <laughs> you heard? <Yeah. laughs> okay. It's like six digits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So is is it tough to say? I mean, have you ever- No, like, actually, if I'm not a Christian, so I won't accept it because uh, as I say, uh, I have a uh, kid's audience. Mm. I wouldn't want to uh, promote them to go and bet on these websites. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. But then of course, I- I won't lah, <laughs> but <laughs> as how much money they offer, so I won't accept lah. What, <laughs> what what do they offer you? One million? I uh, know lah. <laughs> Two million? I, we haven't got to the uh, <laughs> offering part. Good, good, good. So before <laughs> so you so normally I just ignore lah. <laughs> right before you even get tempted or anything, <laughs> and then straight away you put a stop to it first. Uh, yeah, but I've heard lah, mm-hmm. heard from other friends lah because uh my I got other influence uh YouTuber friends. Yeah. There. A lot of them, I think, uh, more. More and more uh, uh, getting jobs from them. Do you feel pressured to to say yes to it? Because especially if all your friends are doing it mm. and you're in your circle of friends. Yeah, you, la- you felt like uh, it's uh, like normalized already. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, uh, given the amount of money, of course you are pressured to accept the job. But but no, la- I can't tahan. I can resist it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so worried by scared. After we shoot this episode, that's how it goes. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> After we go to your channel, then we see it, son, uh, bro. I tell you, I'll uh, call you straight away. Call your pastor so straight away. Uh, sure, uh, confirm. Uh. Yeah, well, I mean, of course, I believe in your conviction. Like, it's really the conviction of the heart that leads you to have the ability to, to say mm-hmm. no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think that's so, so important. Now, Dennis, uh, you've all your life been a Christian. Now, looking back at your life today, I, is it okay to tell how old you are? Oh, of course, uh, I'm born in 1990. 32 this year. 32 this year. Yes. So, oh, more than 30 years, I would say, you know, or maybe when you first mm. accepted Christ or when you got baptized at 12 years old. How many years is that? 32, about 20 years, I would say, since you got yes. baptized. Mm. Looking wow. back at 20 years of your journey with with God, right? With Jesus. Uh, what, what, what can you say about Him? Uh, that He's always there. And... When I needed him most, he's still there. Uh, when I done something terribly wrong, he still never forsake me mm. or leave me, and he is still there. Nice, I love that. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> I think that's a wonderful way to close uh, the episode as well. You know, oh, wow. just to remind people. Oh. Uh, enough time already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can still go on if you want. How, you know, how long has it been? It's been what? It's been a really high thing. Oh, half an hour already. Oh, not bad, not bad. So fast, it's okay, just okay, half an okay. hour just passed by like that. Oh, oh, yeah. My first podcast. Oh, yeah, you did not it. Bad, not bad, not bad. You did it. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> you waved through and you did very, very well. Okay, now, okay. Dennis, before I let you go, is it okay if I just maybe say a prayer for you? Sure. If I prayed for you, yes. Can I would love to have, have Brandon praying for me. Thank yeah. you, sir. Let me pray for you. <laughs> Lord Jesus, we just want to thank you for Dennis's life, Lord. We thank you that uh, even though he may have strayed, Lord, he may have gone far, far away, or he may have like uh, gone to different paths, Lord Jesus, yet you have never left nor forsaken him, that he has confessed with his own mouth, Lord, that he know that 
you, Lord, uh, have never forsaken and you will also never forsake him in the future, Lord. You will never. And so we thank you, Lord, for this, uh, for my brother's life here, Lord. We thank you, Lord, Jesus, that uh, he has also never forgotten you, Lord, that as much as he's in the limelight, Lord, as much as in front of camera, as much as he is uh, uh, shooting all these videos, having uh, so many followers, Lord, and sometimes he can get very cloudy, sometimes he can get to the head, but he has never allowed it to overtake him, Lord Jesus. He still managed to have a center and that center is you, Lord, to put you at the center. And so, Lord, I want to pray for Dennis, Lord. I just want to pray that uh, using the platform, Lord, that you blessed him with, Lord, using the audience, Lord Jesus, that you've given to him, Lord, that he understands that this is not just for fun, Lord Jesus. That as a Christian, he has a responsibility as well towards this, a very blessed responsibility towards his audience, Lord. Because we know that one day, Lord, uh, in the business that we're in, one day you will ask us, Lord, when we finally meet you, like, what have you done? What have you done with the people and the following and the, and the thousands of followers I've blessed you? What have you done with it? And we thank you, Lord Jesus, that Dennis recognized that this is a blessed responsibility, Lord. And so, Lord Jesus, that today we want to commit him into your hands, Lord. We just want to pray and ask, Lord, that you open many more opportunities, Lord, many more doors for Dennis, Lord, that as he chooses to honour you, Lord, by saying no to any betting website or any any clients that um, do not honour you and he chooses to say no, that you will also honour him, Lord Jesus, that you will also bless him abundantly, Lord. Give him, Lord Jesus, uh, 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 these convictions, hold on to it, that he will hold on to it for the rest of his life, Lord Jesus. And as he uh, think about his next step, Lord, we just want to pray, Lord Jesus, that you will also guide him through it, Lord, that you will be there every step of the way and that you will never leave his sight, Lord. So bless my brother Dennis, Lord Jesus, and give him many more opportunities and many more doors to share your goodness, Lord, and how real you've been in his life, Lord. We thank you for his life. We thank you for all that he's done and we thank you for all that he's about to do, Lord, in the many, many years to come. We pray and ask all this in Jesus' most precious name. Amen. Amen. Now, Dennis, before I let you go, any last words the Holy Spirit impresses you to say to all our audience? My man, this is the time. Anything you want to say, last words? Hold on to God. Mm. Do not let Him go mm. because He will never let you go. Wow. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brandon. You're welcome. Thank you so and much. Thanks for your prayer. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dennis, for coming on the show. Uh, we want to say a big, big uh, appreciation. We want to give you a big appreciation la, from all wow. of us here at the team as well for taking the time off to share with us uh, a part of your life as well, a part of your journey with God. And uh, for those of you who are watching and listening to this, we hope that you've been blessed, encouraged, and inspired. Now, don't forget, guys, if you want to uh, know more about this content, you want to know more how we can help you as well, uh, we have a Discord community that you guys can join. It's all in the link below. Of course, alternatively, uh, you can also support us on all our social media platforms, be it Facebook, uh, I do have no Instagram we don't have Twitter uh, and also of course subscribe to the channel as well uh, other than that we want to say thank you so much for watching we'll see you guys again next time my name is Brandon and this has been Let's Get Real with my good buddy Dennis God bless bye bye God bless bye bye you can say bye bye to the camera like, yeah you can bye. just wave there <laughs>Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in to yet another episode of our podcast. We believe and trust that you'll be inspired, blessed and encouraged by this episode. And if you'd like to see more episodes like this, be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video and share it with your friends. Also, we have a Discord community where you can join, have fun and even seek for prayer. And of course, if you want to support this ministry, this studio and keep us going, you can drop your love gifts at the bank details that you see on your screens right now. Be sure to gear up Let's Get Real or LGR so that we know that your giving will be used for this show. Thank you so much in advance. Until next time, God bless. God bless.